True Mental Liberation, Circulation of Noon Science Throughout the Ethiopian Race and All Other Races Who Are Oppressed. This is a, a continuation, actually, of this beef that's been going on between me and this other cult member called Charles A. Gee. Uh, we've been going through this for quite a while. And uh, he been begging and begging to get my attention on YouTube and the Newt's attention as if we haven't been giving that work since 2014. Really, we, we've been decimated what he thought he stood for many, many a times. And he just doesn't want to give up. He used a couple other Nawapians, another guy named Charles. He put the batter in his back and had him puppeteering and he got destroyed. And then uh, he kept going and sending little minions. Even though he claims to be such a man and such a stand-up guy, he's always putting batters and people back and sending them to get took for him. And with good reason, because he uh, he knows what we already did to him. So it's no surprise. He's really the, the true coward. Um, then he set up poor Earl Dakins. We tried to tell him, and you know Earl ran with it, and he also got smashed so many, many, many times that it's not even funny. Because this is a real game. It's a real game that's not a game in a sense because it's about people being liberated. It's about spiritual warfare, mental warfare, physical warfare, and it's. The war is actually between right and wrong. So no matter who the people we see uh, on screen or conversation, it's it's about information versus misinformation. We all can agree, no matter the the problems we have with each other, but we can agree that there is something wrong. That the time has come. That the facts are now emanating in such a way that people are now scurrying to try to find out what's true versus those who trying to find out what's true so they can keep manipulating that truth to keep people at bay so i am not one of those people that sits in that category so i'm i have no worries of that um a lot of these fakers have been falling away which y'all have been seeing from um the older so-called conscious community uh leaders of old who fell and passed away and the information has been uh, scrutinized and exposed as being not authentic or original uh, even though it may have been used at that time to a certain extent but the fact that we got the whole truth about it means that it it had to be totally revealed as what it wasn't in order for us to move on um, we've been seeing a lot of false teachers and leaders which are really what we again is two types you have savior leaders and you have liberator leaders and uh since we've been 50 something years out of the moon cycle which was basically saviors you still got residue of those those teachings and spiritual mental energies descending reasoning are still taking a hold of people trying to uh keep the liberation information from uh spreading properly so you'll see things like um nature boy uh being exposed in all types of scenarios because these are scenarios those who follow noon signs who read the bible interpretation and i ball we are very aware that this time of the savior is over february 5th 1962 so all those who consider themselves saviors are indeed following the old dead paradigm and most if not all saviors do not have the best interest of the people that follow them because the energy that follows with the savior is to keep the people mentally dead and enslaved and depending on the same evolutionary forces that are hurting them um a liberator is opposite of a savior because the savior teaches you how to work with those negative forces to not get at you to a certain extent but because those that time is up and these forces are more bloodthirsty now and the laws that are being broken to try to keep that up people who are following these type of religions and saviors are going to experience even more uh, disruption.
to give them a shot at liberation information, which is basically stand on your own and connect with uh, nine mind, with your mental in energies at this moment in time. Um, we see what's going on with um, Umar Johnson. I'm, I'm not going to get into the, 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 the whether he's a doctor or psychologist, whatever. I just know that seeing that years ago, I, I again another savior. So we we know the pattern, you know, to call yourself. Uh, the prince of something when Garvey didn't call himself the king you can't be the prince of something that's supposed to be dealing with all black people African people um, that right in there in itself was an oxymoron statement uh, we've seen it with all the other ones with uh, SETI um, uh, like I said uh, Tariq Nasheed so a lot of these different uh, people that we see even though they do the work in, in different capacities it is not that it's it's the savior program that's actually running in most of these individuals and so this is what causes them to be able to use logos in such a way to to bring people to them and then take what they need from them only to keep themselves up front that's what a savior leader is but a liberator leader doesn't necessarily have to be out in front physically for liberation to take place when you equal stand what known science is and what nine mind is and, and mental uh, resurrection and things like that. And therefore, that's why Afro Unu wasn't called for him to be out in front, number one. And two, uh, we're on moon base. And if you really read the nature books, along with inspiration and revelation if you do it long enough taking the sulfur and the turpentine etc you'll be able to pull for four of those things that people are asking about what's taking place why it's taking place or why did afro didn't do this uh york was out in front he was doing this and that's because that's what saviors are doing the savior is the one that gives themselves up for the wrongdoing of the people and it doesn't mean that the savior is is a a non-blemish individual aside from being a human being with flaws especially at, at rock bottom at three south depending on the, if the person is an incarnation or possessed with a certain type of spirit that has a certain type of job to do such as your they those spirits have certain payments that they have to be fulfilled and so therefore that's the negative side the downside that most of these Nawapians and those who are sympathizing with these different type of cult leaders don't understand the downside or the payment plan that these uh, demigods and goddesses of various ranks require for giving you uh, the, the love and honor and respect that you're going to get because the, that force is mixing itself with you so therefore it comes naturally so but that's a different conversation so what we're going to do here is uh show you how mr mr charles wants to play like he's super nawapian and that he's always been on the nine he's never been on different types of different fences and whatnot and so we're here just to give you the receipts because all this other stuff that they're doing making videos about uh, a group that i was studying their information i was never part of the destiny uh cult you know to say you're a part of a cult you have to be like a car carrying member and i never was a car carrying member of destiny i was a car carrying member of dr york's organization though so that's different and but because they want to bend the reality of people this is what we mean by being disagreeable and just lying um all in all so there's no need to sit there and lie just because you study something doesn't make you a member of it if i study the occult by way of bobby hemmett information just using this example that doesn't make me a member of bobby hemmett's organization i never went to any uh group settings that they had i never went overseas i never visited them in south africa none of that so this is what i'm saying if you have the truth the truth is just speak the truth regardless of how much or less of it you have if you say okay well tanun he was involved you can say involved 
in which I was saying, I was studying their stuff. And a lot of the crazy stuff that they were saying, Yoke was saying as well. This is the reason why I was interested into the things that they were saying. A lot of them like to say, oh, you was following Tiff. And no, that wasn't the case. I the one who actually found the website doing uh, the videos, doing my research. Because that's what I was doing, trying to get to the, the bottom of what was going on. York did not complete that. And so that was interrupted. That's my personal journey. Now, I didn't design the realities and, and I didn't. Uh, pre-program myself to come and say okay I'm gonna do all these things and yes I had um, noon signs at this time I had noon signs in 2008 and I exhausted all avenues of that information and again the reasonability which is Nupu it comes at the time that it comes you don't control that and so when it was time for me to leave all that stuff alone that's exactly what happened and I went from the Wapple through noon then I studied Destiny and stuff. I studied the Wing Makers. None of this stuff is is alien to what other people are doing at this very moment. You got people who are Christians who are leaving Christianity and going right into the Kemet stuff, and they probably are not gonna stop there. So what does this? What does that mean? But what you have is uh, Mr. Charles wants to corrupt and try to th and warp your reality and perception by trying to make it look like what I did was so against anything in existence which is very ignorant and deceptive in itself just stick to the fact the fact is i no longer follow any information that destiny was teaching i've been saying that many many times in uh the different debates i had with earl so for them to keep saying that over and over it's a lie because it's no longer happening so if a person gonna lie to you about something that somebody used to do, how can you even trust them to tell you the truth about what they're doing now? And so therefore, this new channel is is another uh, channel that I'm gonna be dealing directly with people like that. Because the whole thing is about right versus wrong and misinformation versus um, correct information. So off the bat, I'm gonna show you how he's giving you misinformation. But first, let's deal with what he said about York because a lot of y'all don't know that he was in our group in Pitch Nova Revolution and in uh, Noon Group versus um, Wuna Wapo. and so I'm going to show y'all what he was saying about his so called beloved master teacher because that's what you need all this, see I'm not going to do what Umanim is doing because that right there is, is ridiculous no need to do that, just show the facts because if you're in the conscious community, I keep saying that, or in some type of arena that deals with information versus misinformation, all you have to do is present the facts. The facts can stand on their own. I don't have to go into all this belligerent um, Negro activity that we see seeing with all these different leaders who are very flawed and who are, are self-delusional and believe they're saviors. And so therefore, when you use, when you mix two different things together, it's a bad reaction. You can't take liberation information and then and have a savior spirit. Because the thing is, when a savior is trying to give you liberation information, it's against the very uh, system that the savior operates on. The savior's job is to stay in front of you and control you and guide you, and you have to stay up underneath the savior's power. So therefore, you need religion. You, liberation is anti-religion because liberation is the opposite of what? Slavery. So if I'm giving you liberation, meaning free information that's gonna free you in some capacity, you have to be uh, you have to be active in your own mental liberation. So therefore, it, there's no need for a savior. This is the basic understanding of what a savior and a liberator does. See, a savior is the one that has the number one spot and wants to keep it. So therefore, it's no, it's no room for you. You'll never, you'll never ex succeed under savior programming. So when these saviors that you, that you see running around on YouTube and the cons community and nature, but all these dudes just like him, he, he's under the spell. Now he's calling himself to who they and Jesus. So this is the old moon cycle paradigm. All these people are trying to control you and you won't never see me say that so what we're doing is it's just about delivering the facts and we're going to move forward for the record 
So you can see that this individual, Mr. Charles, is very much of a Decepticon and bringing you misinformation because they can't deal with the reality that York is never coming home. He lied. He used correct information as all the leaders do. Omar, all of them. They're using correct information to lure you in. That's a fact. Because if it wasn't a fact, nobody would be able to produce any type of evidence against these individuals. It's a cycle that is that is occurring, that is changing out the saviors for the liberators. It's giving y'all a shot. That's why you see all of this chaos going on, but it's an order to it. They are being removed. That's what is happening. They are being removed. Because that time for the savior has passed. I repeat, the time of the savior has passed. And anybody that's coming to you using those savior words, I'm a messiah type, I'm, I'm, I'm a savior, I'm here to guide you. You need uh, somebody to be there and walk you through it, walk with me, follow me now. All of these people, Professor Griff, all of these people are saviors. And this is why they are going to fail and they're going to be removed by any means necessary for the liberation of not just the Ethiopian race or the black race, but all races because all races have these same type of individuals in them. All you have to do is look. But because I'm part of the Ethiopian race, I'm only sticking in with my people. I'm dealing with my people, which I tell other people that's, that, that, that's in the so-called Kansu community, go worry about your people. That's why I was telling Kansu or Kinsu, go worry about your people. You a mixed breed. You ain't got no business in an African business. Go where the mulattoes at. Go find the curly head mankind people and y'all strike up a group and get them fixed. See how y'all can bling y'all genes back into the pure state they could be. You have no business here. That's what we have to do. So we're gonna move forward and uh, put this thing together so we can see the hypocrisy. And this is why it's called uh, Charles the Liar. So without further ado, let's get on with this, this mental butt whooping. True mental cosmic peace and war times. Visually giving us a uh, picture of what we were supposed to do or how we were supposed to do it, or even him being a leader and us being students. He did that shit well. You know what I'm saying? He did that shit well. You know what I'm saying? He did it so well that even to today, I wonder who was making his guard. You know what I'm saying? Who was he talking to to get his shit done? You know, his books his deodorant, his covers, all of this stuff. You know, Doc was doing this in the early 1990s. He was already printing his own stuff. He was printing his own book covers, okay? If you look at the nature, uh, introductions to the nature of nature, these books, they have one mono color uh, cover, black, green, or orange. You understand what I'm saying? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no layout scheme on the cover. There's no artwork on the cover. You know what I'm saying? There's none of that on the cover. You know? Well, you look at Dr. York's, all of his books, yeah? Yo, even those covers in itself was to spark your senses. Yo, people used to come into the bookstore all the time. You know? And when they come into the bookstore, you know, our tab, our bookstore was dope, yo. Yeah. Our bookstore was hella dope in England, yo. Yeah. As soon as you came in there, you, know, you had already felt the vibe. You know, incense blowing, you know what I'm saying? The walking music playing, I'm in there chilling, you know, and all our books, you know, all our artwork on the wall and stuff like that. When people would come in there and immediately ask me, where do I start? Which book do I grab? There's so many books that I want to read, which book do I grab? I was simply telling this. The covers themselves are designed and created to make your DNA pop off. You know what I mean? So give yourself for just a couple of seconds and walk around a bookstore, look at the books. 
up whatever's flashing at you like this. Rah, 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 rah. And you get that book. And that's your song. And then you go from there. And then books and then words and then number on the bottom of the book and all of that. That's your zero time reference. And that's which way you go through the walk. You can see some people didn't put the walk in order. They didn't understand it was for them individually to wake themselves up. You know? Some people got them out of the lobby and they were comparing who were this, who was this, who was that, my name, and all the egotistical stuff. You didn't realize that the first day you came to the lobby, you said you wanted to wake up. Okay, and you took the rug. <clears throat> Here's what I did. When I said I wanted to wake up, it was all about waking up. Shut everything else down. So it was me and Dr. York in, in the spirit world. Every time I read a book, Every time I wrote something, every time I thought about something, it's me and him sitting at the table of chess going back and forth, back and forth. Because I had to see a doctor work on the duck. You understand what I'm saying? Some of you guys don't even give your minds the value. You understand? You're coming from the most high. You know, you're giving all your power to a man. He came to reform you and wake you up to something that you were supposed to already know. So you was in the wobby. Just like Dr. York was in the world, yeah. way back, okay, from memory too. So, me sitting down with a Nawabi and book was me and Dr. Malachi and York face to face at the table of chess, moving pieces, moving pieces. And looking at it like that, Dr. Malachi and York put my mind in order. And that's all that matters. All that matters. When anybody steps to me with some bullshit, mythology, falsehood, lies, deception, or trying to manipulate my mind, it is impossible. My mind is impenetrable. You have to put me, lock me in, put me under substances and all of that stuff. You understand? In order for me to reveal what's really going on. You know, you know what I mean by reveal what's really going on. You already know what's going on. Embedded in us, we're waking up to who we are. You know, so if you really wanted to spill some truth to people about who we were, you know, it's it's unbelievable. It's not gonna be believable. You know, you have to spin it in a way where you're dropping knowledge. Y'all used to shoot. Y'all when you were dropping that shot, you was all oh, oh, you oh, oh. all that stuff. It's not that. Long. Gave him a replacement. He gave him a replacement. Look what the replacement look like. You know what I'm saying? Like right? came straight out of uh, the CIA. What the replacement look like, man? Okay. You tell me you wanna all them dope ass cars, Dr. Malachi, you gonna do Now you're gonna go back to English and then put you on a nice little polyester suit. Fuck out of here. Cowardly is you writing them books, putting them books out secretly, and allowing nature to send disgruntled ass or whoever gets bitch to get your book. I said disgruntled because everybody, every nigga is fucking disgruntled looking for information, trying to do better. You understand? But they just happen to go in there and say, Oh, look at this book. I never seen this book. Pick the book up, take it home, and let that. Drop dominoes. No. It's cowardly, man. Dr. York had a mission. Dr. Hulu had a, a writing session, an epiphany of Dr. York. That's it. And I'm going to tell you what I mean. Epiphany on Dr. York. Dr. York's mind that his works were so prolific at the time and whenever you got the information, he was a deadhead, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all were deadheads. Now, some of us had information, like myself, was already on the top before I met Dr. York. Dr. York was schooling to each of times. <laughs> what Dr. York schooled me to was to be able to not be afraid to put that Bible down and think about something else. 
that's what he taught me. He taught me to look at the face of God. You understand what I'm saying? Open my mind up to who God is. You know? Afro Uno was a student of Dr. York. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. That's all it can be. And that's based on the rights and the obituary. Go back and look this up. Nooney Boos, you want to step up and debate this? And step up and debate it. Stop doing your secret videos like you know what's really going on. Because you're talking to a master student teacher right here. You know what I'm saying? Who has dealt with new science in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? And the Wapu. Holla at me. Rasp out the so boss here. Alright, so the first thing he he's lying when he's saying that stop making secret videos and if we want to debate this topic we've been debated this topic on afro uno and the wapians many many times if you can see the evidence here this is just seven other videos that we have been putting up about afro uno and how they've been stealing i got a series of videos called the wapian thievery uh we even put produce a conversation with afro uno's wife uh his widow um conversations with uh afro uno's business partner for 15 years we even proved that afro uno uh was the one that actually that actually produced the uh the the biae at the time when york was in prison i mean we've provided many many facts uh, on this um topic what he's really trying to say is that he wants us to debate him about a subject that's been debated already you can go to my page, you can go to Six Dynasty Media, um, even Chuck Morgan, all of us then debated them on multiple subjects. He just wants to be he wants to be seen and be recognized. That's all that is. He has all the evidence. So like I said, we finna move forward into what he was saying in the group in 2015. Okay, now when you listen to this video that he just put out, he was always with York. He disrespected Alpha Unu. Tried to talk bad about him on the slide, but we done proved that York is the actual uh, unrecognized student and the thief and the plagiarizer. And they use the Afro Uno's works until this day. He tried to play the nature books down, or they just basic. They ain't got no real uh, color scheme to them, like York books and all this and that. But again, all you got to do is go into um, my YouTube channel and you will see that we prove that they have been plagiarizing up to date right now they've been doing that so again we already proven who's following who that's all over it's nothing else to debate it's over he's not going to get any more get any shine except the light that's going to expose him as the hypocrite cult member and faker that he is and i'm finna bring the receipts right now so let's get on with it Brother Sean, the information is sound right reason, no one is perfect, and I myself do not proclaim perfection, even Doc with all his grandeur and attributes has been brought down, we only can do the best we can. I have studied the Wapu with an intense mind for over 20 years, like some of us, I feel I am qualified to reveal where Doc slipped, it's in his work. So here we go, If he's, he's, it's going to be a whole lot more after this, but here he even says that Doc even slipped in his own work. But just stay tuned and watch how it gets worse. I will say that those with major egos and didn't study the WAPO is getting it like Jay Reese. Noon is the revolutionary science Doc knew not to mention. Again, he is saying that York knew not to mention that. Why? Because, again, like I said earlier, you have saviors and then you have liberators. A savior especially since York was stealing for exact right information from the actual liberator he knew if he was to teach that it would liberate people and he couldn't continue the control that he had over them so again his own statement is damning and he's saying Doc knew not to mention why not we all talk to him asking why Doc knew not to mention noon science that's a good question since he want to ask a whole bunch of questions just two questions who here has been a new science student for more than five to ten years and who here has been in the whopping for five to ten years 
that's claiming Dr. Yolk stole noon sign. This is only for the new poo cats. Can you answer? I like to know. Again, look at the date. This is 2015. Okay, so he's in this group. I'm gonna put his response to this as well. And bear in mind, underneath the video, you see what he claimed York is the master teacher is May 15, 2017. So we're gonna see exactly did he actually still believe that two years ago when he was in this group. Funny, Amun, you know your teacher's mortal flesh ages while in prison. Holding picket signs won't do anything. Amun, step up. Maybe you can say something we don't already know concerning the WAPO. How long do you need your hand held? We are surpassing your teacher while you think about something to say. Again, here he goes. He just said, we, talking about Noonie Boos, are surpassing your teacher. Now, York is not his teacher. This is 2015, but now look at the video, the date, May 15, 2017. So we can see who's the hypocrite here. Cause he likes to point out, oh Tarnoon, you first you had Nawapu and Noon Science, then you went over here and you went over there. Oh, why you did all of that if you had, this is what we're talking about. They talk the game, but they really, don't know how it's played. Talking about spirit beings, look at yourself. And this is already set. I wouldn't even bother, but he kept bothering and bothering. So now we have to put him out there to be exposed as a hypocrite. So to all of those who running around in his little clique, listening to him because you mad at the work that I'm doing, but really look at the person. Y'all need to check the people that y'all talking to. Look at him, he's the hypocrite. Ridiculous. Can we find the name Ray in Egypt? Did any netters or pharaohs use that? This is a good question. This is when he was coming up out of the spell of York. We keep saying it to this day. Where can you find the ancient Egyptians or Tamarans using Ray for the sun? It doesn't exist. This is what we're talking about. York is so sick. He giving names to the, he's corrupting the names to the sun. Raye, it's no such pronunciation. It doesn't exist. Interesting. Tanun, Nubuhu Nupu held the fence. The originals or first producers of Noon expression have closed their minds as well. The originals were under our number names. I will tell you all, stop playing and study Noon. And this one here, he's giving me props for holding the fence. Why is that? Because the truth of the matter is, I was one of the, I was one of the, matter of fact, I was the first and not using that as an ego thing to come out on YouTube. Uh, through Sarnetta by way of Lord Abba who uh, came to visit me in New York and he told me he was going over there I hadn't um, heard of, I heard of Sarnetta a little bit but he told me he was going over there to do an interview and I rolled with him that's how I ended up getting my shot on uh, the House of Conscience back in 2009 and my name I was wearing was one of Nupu so He's putting our there because he was one of the ones that took on the number name after me. Because I was the one that started the number naming uh, as far as being uh, into noon science. I read a passage in the book about our ancestors used to have number names. So I said, wow, that'd be nice. So I, I named myself one of the new pool, and then uh, everybody else started taking on number names. So, but that's neither here nor there the point is he's giving me props in 2015 so ask you ask yourself what happened ask him what happened how is it i've been doing this in 2014 when i when i came back to uh facebook and started doing my thing against the weapons and the foolishness they were doing so he knew what i was about then so you need to ask him what happened what changed what 
is Ty Noon doing different than he was doing there? Because you can see he was rocking with us in the group. I'm still maintaining the direction I'm going in. He hasn't. So you have to ask him what happened. And we can see who's being a hater. Because that's how haters move. They When they think or feel that they should be doing what you doing like he said he he been studying this for 20 years they all do that whole thing about oh if i've been in it long longer than you i did this and so that whole ranking system that means nothing it has nothing to do with nothing but just ask him what happened to tanoon holding the fence is he still holding the fence we all know the answer to that i'm not alone in that for sure my wife Tanunet, Kweepu, Anu. It's a handful of us still around. Neb. It's a handful of us still in here holding the fence. But we're going to move on though. Doc only wears one outfit now. It's all orange and owned by the government. Wow. Listen to that. He just dissed his master teacher. But look at the name of the video behind it. Dr. York, the true and living master teacher. Two years ago, he wasn't, he was, he was something else. Now he's back being the master teacher. Sounds like confusion to me. Tried to tell you people, tried to tell Earl and the rest of them. Y'all let this clown put the batter in your back and sent you out there as a toy soldier to get destroyed. And he ain't is not even steadfast on what he says is the master teacher. Now Earl and the rest of them, they appear to be, you know, never wavered in they, they faith in York. But this dude right here, y'all need to really check his credentials. Gotta check his credentials. Ray is not short for Sun Ray. Sun Ray is English. What does Ray come from? Where? already spoke about that that there's nowhere in ancient Egypt or the Metanetta you won't find the Ray nowhere there's just another corruption of what your mind is corruption I if you notice you posted French word Ra I that is not Ray from Egypt philosophy means to study wisdom noon is the science of nine ether which is sound right reason which the wapu leads to Doc gave you a piece of nine and religiously programmed you with six. That's very interesting. Now think about that. This is supposed to be the master teacher. If he's supposed to come to lead you and get you away from six ether, then why would why would he say York programmed you with six? Because that's all York knew. That's why. Six and lower. That's what that is. That's why I did them videos called Who Sent Dr. York? Nine Ether, Six Ether. Just go to my YouTube page. It's right there. The, the information explains that. So again, ask, ask Mr. Charles what happened. This is just two years ago. You said York was programming the weapons with Six Ether. What happened? Now you back over there with the master teacher. What's really going on? I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand it at all. Amun, what is the Henno about? And what was up with August 12, 2003? And 30 years from there, if your naked body can't fit the seat, your ass is left. It's not about what you think you know. We are telling the ignorance your teacher taught. What he referring to, for those who don't know, is that York said that uh, the Vortex supposed to open August 12, 2003 After he said it's supposed to open two, Three years before that in 2000 That uh, the ship's supposed to come through And then between 2003 and the year 2045 uh, Aliens Supposed to abduct 144,000 cult member Nawabians To get up out of here And he said if you can't fit the seat you is left he took this from also Elijah Muhammad who said that years before him that some Nation of Islam members would be took up in a spaceship and they had the weight I think it was 120 pounds correct me if I'm right or wrong on that one 
and uh, need to check that out. So basically, you can see that he's dissing York again. This is the confusion that York taught. Again, this is just two years ago now. And now, two years later, he's back to being the master teacher. So y'all still got to ask him, what happened in those two years? He said he was always on the nine. But this is this is evidence that he, he was on the six and the three. Really the three, because the six ain't even here. We had three, three ethers on. So he still, he messed up about that. Tarnoon, straight program, LOL. More deception, ra ah and ra ah. The first is six ether forces, and the second is nine ether forces. As you can see, the Hebrew letters for raw are different. How can two Hebrew letters correlate to the same English letters? This came out of the same book called Right Knowledge. Damn. So here, uh, Mr. Charles is talking about how York called itself trying to give information about nine ether and six ether by using uh, two different type of words in a book that he put up put out called right knowledge so basically he's seeing fault in what york was doing and this is the book that he was talking about right here Scotty and Wise, did you not gave? Now look at Ra. That means to see and look at what what Doc see it. It's incorrect because he placed the yard in it. So this is referring to the two previous pictures about Ra and Ra A and how York basically made up his own definition and tried to use the Hebrew when you talking about Tamaran. What he should have put was. The metaneta, if that's the language he was he was quoting from, because you saying Ra is from the the Egyptian, then why didn't he show the glyph for that? But he didn't, and so he had enough sense to see that because he studied it. But that was two years ago. So what happened? You said he was the master teacher. So what happened? I don't, I'm, I'm gonna keep asking that question. What happened in those two years? You seen something wrong? Then you what? You fell back to sleep? The fact that Nawapu is Hindu Sufism. Al-Tariq disguised on the Patarak, and when you look into Doc Singh, an avatar comes every 25,000 years to reform. Thought you would find similarity on the Buddhism and Hinduism. It was picked up by Elijah Muhammad, but it's not African. So again, like you said, the fact that Nawapu, Nawapu is not Hinduism. York took that from Afro Uno as Amanubi Rakata and corrupted that. York was into the Sufism and all that stuff 
in the late 60s after he got out of prison. The second part, Al Tariq, or what they call him, Pal Tarak, they took that from the, the Quran, a chapter called Al Tariq called The Way. That's all Pal Tarak is. Yoke just switched it up with the uh, the Egyptian language, put Pa, which is basically the, and Tariq, he just, corru he just corrupted the Arabic word because Yoke speak Arabic. We keep telling y'all that. That's why he, all of his lang the language that they call in the Wapik is number but filthy Arabic. Ghetto Arabic at that. Huni told people not to study Hinduism, and a lot did. I study everything. Look how the Nawapic script is taken on a Sanskrit look, which is a form of Hindus. That's their writings called Sanskrit. So, again, look at the date, December 22nd, 2014. This is almost, well, not three years. It was almost three years ago. So, y'all got to look at that. We already did videos explaining that Nawapic is nothing but Arabic, and they took the script and just altered it and and called it Nawapic. This is this and this is the first. This is not the first time they've been doing this. So Nawapic has different scripts, but that's because they took other languages scripts or the way they're shaped and drawn, and they threw that in there. And kept what they call, what's called Nawapic, just changed the script. This is the deception of what York has created. His whole cult is deceptive. I just really noticed Ken, he isn't talking anything that really rooted in African culture. He gave the basics. And you can see where Charles put the Hindu guy that York was also following too, named Sa Baba, who was also a notorious pedophile. So again, he telling you that you only talk basic because he didn't really know he was a plagiarizer. That's what happened. A reformer that ain't nothing but a plagiarizer. That's you not bringing nothing new. You can't because you are a savior, and saviors don't bring nothing new. They just bring the same old, keeping you under the slave mentality. Only with noon and when the the, the specific time came for noon to be brought out which is being done now and then to start building on it that's a process as well but York all he taught was religion and anything else he stole from other places so again this is uh Mr. Charles going at Dr. York I think claim that he's the he's the true and living master teacher what happened between 2014 and 2017 when you made this video just want to know what does our symbol mean? I read the Unctwe is the key to dead spirit forces. Again, we are we also did videos on this same thing as well. I don't think in the same year, but he put up a, uh, a picture of it, and as you can see, it's you got a dead man on it. That's a savior symbol. So that in itself ought to tell you a little something. Notwithstanding, uh, matter of fact, he's quoting underneath it something from the nature books about how the unk was the key to the, uh, it was called a skeleton key and it, sim it was a key to the pyramid and it represented a key to the, the spirit world, which is scientifically dead, etc. So, again, this was December the 17th, 2014. What has happened? So again, y'all need to check your boy. Ask him what happened between that time and now. I notice our symbol of life has a circle at the top and the unctui has an oval shape. Some say that oval represents the vagina. Does that tie into the six eat the sex force? Of course, the unct is a sex symbol because we know that in the bottom half of existence, six or sex is how things are reproduced down here so that's obvious but he's saying our symbol because he's cl he's claiming the ethiopian egyptian seal which we had just me and anuk did a response video to our malachi disciple about a week or so ago but again this is us showing you how he did the switcheroo so he's the one that need to be questioned on his loyalty and for the record, you can't be a Nunaboo and a Nawapia, number one. Number one, 
as we explain, as Anud explained how the word Nawapu came from the the the, uh, the Metaneta word Nibu meaning gold dealing with sunshine and the rays it's impossible for human beings to be that and we knew that the pygmy gods manifested themselves or the brain news manifested themselves into the physical form of the pygmy god so i did a video on that as well it's impossible for human beings to be the pygmy gods and or sun rays and what they represent it doesn't work and that also is pseudo I'm losing respect for these who think they are debating. I don't know what school these new weapons come from, but I suggest that you niggas hit the books. That veteran-ish don't fly no more. It's not about saving souls, it's about revolution. Your spirit is either three, six, or nine from the jump. It reflects what you adhere to. I feel like I'm talking to simians. Tanun Nupu schooling. Once again, he give me props and credit. This is 2015. Now he ain't on me. What happened? The Wapians who have researched Afro Uno and claim that he isn't from Sudan slash Ethiopia not listening to reason. Even Dr. York says he's from Sudan. Noon deals in origin and origin means to rise or ascend to overstand one has to research genetic haplogroups. The haplogroup L determines all are from the area of Sudan in the evolutionary cycle names change is a pick of the migration of original Sudanese Ethiopian people before them coming back as a Semitic people. Now the thing is this, the two di the difference between when Afro Uno said he was from Sudan and York was that Afro Uno meant by way of origin. The same way we call ourselves African Americans or descendants, that means our descendancy runs back to that. York said he was from Sudan when he was from Boston and then he switched it from Sudan to now he's from Ghana. So all that, that rules York out and he's a liar. He didn't know how to answer that scientifically he's religious and a savior that's the difference also a savior is a liar and a liberator tells the truth let this be known jack Weeks manning as you have seen with our question in nunibu pronounced nunibu provide evidence research along with our facts although we sound off to despair ignorance no one has to argue I suggest those that are adverse to noon or in defense of Dr. York, religiously, pantheistically, or emotionally do the same for not doing automatically qualifies a loss at effort. He doing the same thing right now. You see the switch up? Two years ago, this is what, January the 15th, 2015, he separated himself from the whopping. So there you go. But now look at him now, two years later. He's saying York is the true master teacher. This is confusion. He the one that's not loyal. <clears throat> true peace in the Wapis also believed at one time that the body could transform via Merkaba ship to travel through dimensions. Is that unreasonable today? And this is in reference to when York used to teach that, that the human could turn their body into a ship and lead the earth but he's still in prison so I, I don't you know I guess he was right on that one it, not only is unreasonable is ignorant Jay Reese the sacred records say Inky mixed the lairs orangutans and chimpanzees to breed humans also this play out in the Atchahasis or Gilgamesh epics do you believe that is there any other proof Doc said also said in the holy tablets that humans evolved from a specific dinosaur then also we grew out of the water be it that be it that our hands and spinal cords is evidence which is true this is him again questioning uh the teachings of york and this is january 15 2015 and also this goes right back into the lie that prince york told sarnetta when he asked him did did they come from fish or dinosaurs or whatnot, which they 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 do claim that. That's in the holy tablets. Again, you'll just talk a whole bunch of stuff, but you can see that again that there's there's confusion here, and this is why we have to keep asking him what happened between then and now. I find.
find it more reasonable and scientific that humans are indigenous biologically and organically and grew on this planet. Dr. York leaves the door open for doubt. And we support that whole scenario because it is. Humans did not come from no aliens and no damn monkeys. So, I mean, the Ethiopian race, rather. Now, the rest of the mankind races are a mixture of us, our ancestors mixing in back in the past. And then science deals with that as well. And the scientists, depending on what branch you're dealing with, can, ex can support that to an extent. So, again, we're just showing you that this is a contradiction versus what he's saying now. Look at the date, January 15, 2015. What happened? What happened between now and then is the question I'm going to keep asking. Also, Doc said, according to Genesis, when the Elohim said that the gold was good, that it takes millions of years for gold to form. Apes are in a sense bipad. The spine is curved. I think saying aquatic apes is reaching. Also, I don't know of canines slash dogs actually kissing. Reproduction came through the evolutionary. Everything multiplies and everything living is essential DNA. See how this sounds far-fetched and out of real science? Again, he's going against what York is saying by using the information that he has access to. So again, is York the true and living master teacher, as he says? He couldn't have uh, he couldn't have believed that two years ago. But something happened between then and now. But we're just showing you how he likes to run down on the choices that I made thinking that Doc was one thing and then switching it up. Again, I'm not going to knock him in the head for making choices and changing information. I'm only getting back at him because he's trying to make it appear as if what I was doing was somehow somehow uh, sinister and, and I was up to no good when I was actually just following the paths and trails to try to figure out what it, all this is all about. So you got people like this who are very uh, loose in the brain and they also have uh, their own agenda, personal, because again, I've been knowing them for years as far as through uh, MySpace and Facebook and all of that and through conversation. He's very egotistical and he think that he is greater than most people and that's where his problem comes in at. So he's already off his rocker in that. But we just want to show you that he is equally guilty. If I'm guilty of thinking that Doc was right and then switching over and then find out he was wrong, but never switch back, but he did, then he's just as guilty. He need to look at himself in the mirror and start trying to blame other people for the stuff that he's doing as well. Jay Reese, none of that has been proven to be real facts. At first, it was a reptilian. Is that homo saurian? Also, that story plays out like the Abraham Hagar story. He's just attempting to renew it. Earth wasn't created in 6,000 or 49,000 years ago by mundane, mundane scientists. It was created 4.54 billion years ago, which falls in line with noon science. What is the proof that beings before the Anunnaki had short lifespans? Again, this is him going against the master teacher. And it's not even inconceivable of what he's saying because the earth was not created 6,000 years ago as Christians say nor was Adam to be correct that York said was uh, created 49,000 years ago and then say that Adam and Eve was 6,000 years ago these are different teachings that York was mixing because he got that 49,000 years ago I think from Madam Blavowski and them and some of the information I had did a, a, a post on that before back a little while ago a while back I don't know about a year or two ago but again this is somebody who is flip flopping y'all need to ask him how can you with a straight face keep talking about what Tar Noon has done not doing I don't flip flop no more ask him why are you so concerned about what Tarnoon did when you were guilty of the same thing just recently two years ago is not that far all this took place in 6,000 years the period of religion and the moon cycle go up to your post under a new I can't copy piece of the message it says the earth was created 6,000 years Doc said 49,000 years ago, which was the black germ Hindu, 
Adamu, Lulu Amalu. The fact that he is mixed in stores means either he wasn't completely or sure, or he was learning it as he, as he went. The earth creation by scientists hasn't changed. Great point. So it just shows you, for those of us who did the research, we definitely proved that York was definitely taken from the Hindus and mixing stores together that didn't go together and having people draw pictures of them saying that this is this person, this is that person and that's why the Wapins will have a problem now if they try to get somebody to draw pictures now because it would be a very hard scientific or historical feat to try to put all that stuff together. They just a copy and paste cult. That's all they are. Can you address the creation 6,000 years or 49,000 years versus 4.54 billion years, which coincides until we learn further with known science? If you told this to laymen, it would appear far-fetched, not because people are stupid, but you can't verify the whole thing with other sources on record. So this is a continuation of the atom, whether he was created 6,000 years ago or 49,000 years ago, versus what the scientists have up to date said that the universe or the earth rather is like 4.54 billion years ago which noon science says the whole space matter and time all of the universe is, is, a, is about 4 billion some years old so it's noon science is right on track and Alpha Unu had came up with this number way before the Caucasian did so this is something that people will find as they read the information it's just new pool which is nine mind mental energies male and female will help the uh, oppressed races, especially ours, find this information and line it up with the with the books. Mahat Twee answered your questions reasonably. The planet uses English now. Nawapi is not your or our original language. You could not take that language to Africa. Doc told you it's a combination of Semitic tongues like the word Nawapu. Again, here you go. He even he recognized that the language that they have is not African. It's not. No matter how many lies Earl don't try to say, oh, the script is is no why is no temple uh, in in Arabia and Sabian goes all the way back. No, no, no. What they call in the Sabian script with the Wapi is is Arabic. Okay, they need to stop the foolishness and get up out the Bible with them spells they cast in. They talking about the Sabian script go all, go all the way back to Queen Sheba and Solomon. All this old crap they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But again, to keep it on this guy here who claims that Dr. Yoke is the true and living master teacher, he found a problem in the language. But now, again, he had to go back to sleep and start with the foolishness again with the programming that he's still pushing. Nunaboos are now under the spell. The Wapians are. The spell was cast for Inca and Doc Corn himself, the son of Inca, who is Murdoch Marduk Melchizedek. Another great point. They are under the spell. He under the spell too, because he don't want back to sleep. But you can see, again, that what he's saying is actually supporting that I made the right mental choice by sticking with Noon when I found what I found. Because a lot of the information that we're releasing and have released has been over a period of time. That information is not in the books like that. So don't be confused. And Earl, you really need to slap yourself. Because you've been played by somebody younger and dumber than you. Who then caused you to run out there and get beat to death by me and Earl. I mean by me and Chuck. So you need to get yourself together, man. Stop being a believer. This just only proves that y'all are not about the information. You so caught up on trying to see problems with me that you were listening to another person who then told you lies and left out information. Look at him. He went against the master teacher. According to you, that's who y'all worship. You gonna let that rock? You gonna still pretend? You gonna still communicate with him? You ain't gonna question him and ask him why did you say the things that you said? Because we, we, we got... Tarnoon on record saying what he's saying, but he's stuck with what he said. But this guy didn't do that. See, this is what we talking about being a liar. One thing you can say about me is I own up the mind. Now let's see if this dude here gonna do the same thing. Question, why did he not bring all nine eat the information? 
because he wanted to give you religion and give you a Semitic language. This is why Nawapians today who try to verse noon only speak about a language. You are not language. is not one until recognized by the planet. Again, this is hard hitting points and facts that we keep making them and telling them. Number one, they keep talking about, oh, it's the English language. This, they, it don't matter. All this stuff is a part of, of nature. The one supreme being space, matter, and time. Again, just because it's in English, that don't, doesn't mean you still can't get the facts out of it and use it to do what you have to do. All things can be used for positive and negative, but that's what they use. They use the fact that they think that because they speak something that you created, made up from a whole bunch of other stuff, is worse than English. Because he used different people and their talents to create something that really can't be verified. English can be verified. You can take it all the way back to German and 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 old English and high German, low German, and it'll keep going and going all the way back to it goes back into the Phoenician language. Or the Hindus are what the Caucasian came from anyway, so the language that they speak is Sanskrit. So you can trace English back. Even though the what they have today is consistent of other languages, that's what all languages to an extent until you go further enough back to run into what we have. So, which is, you know, the ancient languages and things and, and anagrams and, and glyphs that the African race has had. So other races, their stuff can be traced back to other people's stuff all the way back to us eventually. So that's really what it is. But Nawapi is worse than English. Trust me on that. Doc was a student. Can we be shown what he did in 1962 in any Nawapian book? Notice the we and date. Until one can prove Doc did anything at the date he was a student of Afro Uno. Doc used Nupu, N-U-P-U, later on also the term was not in earlier books. He claimed them as degrees in the WAPU when they are clearly writers. Where are those writers today on the Doc? He never knew them. And this is a contradiction to the video clip I just used earlier where he says that Afro Uno was a student of Dr. York, which makes no sense because Afro Uno was 30 -something, 36 years old in 1962. York still was a teenager and he was a Muslim and a gang member and he went to jail two years later for statutory rape so how is he the, the teacher of Afro Uno there's no such thing as that but we can see from from this quote right here and go back to the video earlier in this in this video where he clearly says that Afro Uno was a student of Dr. York see the confusion this is what you call lies and you can tell that he is a cult member and this is what happens when you get under the spell. You can't break it. You wake up and go back to sleep. While he talking about other people going to sleep and uh, waking up, he is still under the spell of Dr. York, who is not a doctor. Dr. Umar is more of a doctor than Dr. York is. They said York signaled Shams in New York and he was free. So since the reformers locked up, shouldn't we see the mothership? Wasn't Doc sent as Michael to battle Humbaba? So his purpose was to teach stolen knowledge, not coming to save Nawabi and not coming to seal the devil, but only give you the correct info? Seems like he was woke then, because this is the same stuff that we were saying since 2014, and even uh, Chuck and I've been saying since 2011, and other people who were like, well, even before then, why the ships didn't come get him or the bigger ship come since they was putting him in jail. So you got a lot of them who say, oh, he's not in there, that's a clone. All of the confusion that the moon cycle brings because religion is since the Wapians are, are a different mixture version of religion, all religion are going to fail. And that's when people gonna start waking up when the religions don't come through. Which they haven't been doing anyway. They just only come through enough for certain people to keep the other people wishing that they will one day get the same type of blessings that the other people are getting. The way York egotistically described himself, when the beast came, he should have opened up the cosmic floodgates on the ghosts. His magic tricks didn't make the ghost put his weapons down. Hey. Did that fool protect any women or children with his rich, rich, rich skin power? 
Son of Inky as Inky, son of Anu. After all that I came from Planet Rick's man of the hour, he's in prison wondering if he's even relevant at all. Look at that. He calls York a fool. He said he was egotistical. He didn't have no power to make the ghosts leave him alone. They came to, to arrest him. Then they asked him, then he said, did he protect any of the children? No. This is what you would call, this is, this is damning. There's nothing he can say to get up out of this one. And I told this bald-headed fool, and I'm saying that because how you claim to be nine ether when our hair is a part of nine ether? It's it's a remnant of our ancestors, of our ancestors. He don't have no hair. Ask him why you cutting your hair. Unless you got some kind of disease, then I apologize for that. But if you don't have a disease, then why do you keep cutting your crown? But that's for another another time. But y'all know why, especially Earl Malachi. Uh, possibly Prince York You need to look at this This is what we talking about Y'all don't do no research Y'all just jump on the bandwagon Just because a person is yelling the same thing you yelling But you need to check their background Why y'all so busy looking for me You need to look at each other But this dude here definitely was against York two years ago And he claimed he had never been disloyal to York Ever since he started reading the books So what y'all gonna do Blame that on us we brainwashed him to say what he said? I don't think so. He too, he's too egotistical and arrogant, and he always blowing his own horn about how his brain is too strong for that. So again, what happened then? Mr. Too Strong Brain, what happened? In regards to Malachi's mission, he shouldn't be locked up. Didn't he come to behead the Dijal? Okay, wait. Him being locked up was to find out who the lawyer and the Wapians are and it's all made up. Wouldn't Dr. Yoke be more powerful than all the leaders considering he's from Rick's and has nine mind power? Why didn't he foresee all this coming, warned in the Wapians and changed the outcome? Again, all of these are questions of somebody who definitely sees York as the faker that he really is. However, he went back and fell asleep, smoking all that weed, leaving himself open, the turp and the sofa, if you even taking it, it's not going to really work because these things do not work together. And the nine ball tells you you shouldn't be smoking marijuana. And we didn't expose him about this before. And he doesn't care how he makes himself or others look by appearing to be a pothead on social media and just smoking and talking and sounding like a damn fool. And this, this information we putting out here is going to show you that. Like I said, I don't have to go back and forth like the rest of uh, these elders in the in the uh, so-called conscious community inviting people to their body parts, talking about each other's mothers, talking about spreading diseases to each other. All this type of stuff they doing, threatening each other's livelihood, lives. We don't have to do that. Again, if you're talking about bringing full facts, the facts stand on their own. And when you don't have facts, you have to bring all the stuff to fill in where the facts go. So that's where the WWF and the hard gangster thug talk comes in because they don't have the facts. Or they try to put themselves in the bracket with the fact. Just put the facts up there. If a person is ill-equipped or not uh, qualified for something, present that and let it be. Because the truth of the matter is we all got some work to do on ourselves. So stop trying to put yourself out there as if you are the model that people are supposed to be doing. Follow them, high. That's not the case. People are supposed to follow facts. Sound right reason. You understand? And then you should have your own household. and That's a leader to follow. If that person falls off, you still got sound right reason. That's what Newport Nine Mind and Noon Science offers. It offers you the correct way to go. Not the way the religion goes that tells you to ignore the fact that this person is not only un unqualified, but also have agendas that is causing people to go through certain changes that they wouldn't have went through had they been listening to liberation information. The Whoppers, he left y'all hanging like Tahuti left him when the cuffs hit his wrist. Wait, what happened to his Tilu Sapphire Red Bean weapon? Can any of the Wapians prove three aliens materialized in York cell and told him he had to do the time? LOL at De, De La still talking about the Anunnaki and Bible stories. Again, this is June 21st, 2015. He's picking at York 
being in jail and also being possessed by the moon god Tahuti. And if you go on his YouTube, you'll see where he's trying to place me as the one being possessed by the Hootie, which is a which is a joke because Yoke is the one that said he was possessed by the moon god, which we done proved that the moon god to Hootie and Baphomet, the he she uh goat god, pedophile, sexual, homosexual, hormone sexual entity is who York is participating and did those things the same way with Nature Boy who's now calling himself Father Tahuti and y'all gonna see later on that all of Tahuti's servants gonna carry his name and then and only then when a lot of you fools go back and look at the Nature Books and the stuff we put out telling y'all that this particular um, lunar force is a child predator on top of doing everything else that he likes to do So that pretty much wraps up part one and uh, we shall be back with more thunder and lightning and brain nuke storms to clear up all this foolishness because this is like work, this is nothing like I tried to tell them before, I'm going to give you everything you don't want because you have been a bully like no other. And, and, and it's not even that you just completely ignorant to things. You, you're doing this because you're egotistical. You're doing this because you think I'm not worthy to be in the position that I, that, I, that I am in, which the work proves that I am. I have no concern about if you are qualified to be in the position that you are as far as disseminating information. Never cared about that. But you seem to be the one to think that you can check and pull people in and out of position as if you the so-called commissioner but that's your that's your right if you want to be delusion go ahead i have no control over what you do and what you're trying to do and what you can't do that's that's not my concern you're not my concern but since you want to get in the way of sound right reason sound right reason and i have been agreed to the the mental contract to do what needs to be done as far as the pushing noon science and guess what you just one of those another notches under the belt that i have to take so i'm not gonna waste too much more time but this i want to give a, a special shout out uh the quipu cardi nupu for uh helping with the screenshots and the research um afro unu sipu gipu um, my wife Tanu Net, um, Anu, um, Nibu, Tarnipu, Nair, uh, anybody else I may have forgot, and those who are studying who will be getting on board eventually. Just keep up the good work, take your turp on your sofa, and uh, oh yeah, subscribe to my new channel, and uh. See y'all on the next go round. True mental cosmic peace in war times. Also true mental liberation circulation of noon signs throughout the body of the Ethiopian race and all the other races that are oppressed. True peace.